Innovations over the last century have really changed the way we use our time, the way we experience time. Smartphones are probably the most important innovation in this sense that has happened since television. Time intensive innovations, things that reshape our days, produce both outsized optimism about the ways that they may benefit the world, but also consistently they produce outsized fears. Just recently, a byproduct in a sense of the same technologies is we're getting at least a bit better at the measurement. This was an experiment that we did in 2018. We do see evidence that Facebook time is making people less happy. These results suggest that the treatment being off of Facebook increased people's subjective well-being, self-reported happiness by about a tenth of a standard deviation. When you take people off of Facebook, both other social media time and online time doing anything other than social media, both of those things go down. What goes up is pretty much everything else. These are the results on knowledge. Being off of Facebook substantially reduces people's knowledge of factual information. And when we give them quizzes, they are less likely to get those answers correct. What is social media doing to people's beliefs? It is doing something good, actually, which is informing people. It also has the impact of increasing polarization and making people more upset. We see a significant reduction in polarization when people are off of Facebook, about 15 hundredths of a standard deviation. So it's a tricky trade-off. We would rather have a democracy where people don't know what's going on and they're also not mad at each other, or would we rather have them more informed, but also potentially more polarized.